Introduction. Getting older is inevitable. Until scientists discover a genetic fountain of youth, we all must come to terms with the fact that we're going to see our health deteriorate as we get older and count more candles on the cake with each passing year. Okay, so that last part isn't necessarily true. Most people give up on that once they reach about、uh, five. But while it's inevitable that you're going to age, you do get a say in how you age. You get a say in how you get to look and feel and how healthy you are. Sure, some of this comes down to luck, but a whole lot of it comes down to the way you eat, your lifestyle, and even your mental attitude. In this training, you're going to learn how to get the very most from your body, your looks, your mind, and even your career, no matter what age you are. In this training, you will learn the secret to aging gracefully. Whether you're a man or a woman, and no matter what life throws your way, you'll see that your body can and should last you your entire life, that aches, pains, and damaged skin are not inevitable, and you'll learn to keep on thriving until your last days on this earth. Who is this training for? Before we go further, there is one important point I'd like to make. This training is for everyone. If you are already making your way into your twilight years, Then you may be under the impression that it is too late for you in some way. You may think that now that your arthritis and wrinkles have set in, that it's too late to reverse the damage. Not true. As you will see, there are many techniques and strategies that you can use to reverse damage to your cells, your brain, and your joints. And many of these can make a profound difference in a short amount of time. And perhaps you're in the other camp. Maybe you think you're too young to worry about how you're going to look in the future. Maybe you think that you're somehow impervious to aging. Maybe you haven't thought about it at all. But if you're over 25, the reality is that your body has already begun to decline. It has already begun to deteriorate. Every day that passes that you ignore this stuff, you are ensuring that you will look older, feel worse, and shorten your lifespan. So it's absolutely essential that you start to look after your health as soon as possible. All of these tips are going to help you look and feel better immediately. And they are going to protect you against changes that you might otherwise see in as little as a year. That is to say that this will benefit you immediately and in the future. Ultimately, though, for the younger readers, this is going to come down to how much foresight you have, how well you're able to look into the future, and to plan for that, rather than doing what pleases you right now. But before you make up your mind on whether this is something you should spend your time on, I want you to imagine a day in the future. This day might occur in a few years from now or a few decades. But at some point, you are likely to get a call from your old school or college inviting you to a reunion. You can now turn up at that event and look fantastic. If you're single, then you'll have the pick of all the hottest men or women of your childhood. If you're not, you can flaunt your success and just how incredible you look. Or you can ignore the advice in this training and live life for the moment. You can turn up at that same event and be the one who just looks tired. You can be the one who your old friends whisper about behind your back. They'll say, "Boy, that guy or lady has really let themselves go." Think ahead. The impact of your lifestyle. Incredible examples of celebrities that have aged amazingly, and how you can steal their secrets. So you've seen firsthand among your friends and even people on TV just how lifestyle can impact the way you age. But this goes deeper than you might expect. These things can make a huge amount of difference that goes well beyond the surface. For proof, just consider some of the people you know who are in their forties, their fifties, and their sixties. Now, take note of just how different they are. Some people in their forties can easily pass for being in their thirties, early thirties even. This isn't just about their looks, although that's a big part of it. It's also about their attitude, their energy, and their lust for life. But other people in their forties. Appear to be haggard, worn down, tired, and old. You know the sorts. Usually, they're covered in sunspots, have ten children, and are perpetually seen with a cigarette hanging out of their mouth. I want you to look up a guy called Aaron Marino, also known as Alpha. He runs a style and grooming YouTube channel where he talks about things like skincare, the best clothes to wear during X season, and tips for picking up women and making money. Now, the thing about Aaron is that he's forty-one. I have friends who are 41, and they've practically already given up. But Aaron is 41, and he looks fantastic. Not only is his skin largely wrinkle-free, but he has a physique that many people half his age will never achieve. He dresses young while still looking age-appropriate, and he is brimming with confidence and personality. 
I'm not saying that 41 is old. I'm simply saying that for his age, Aaron demonstrates the impact that the right lifestyle, diet, and grooming can have. And another easy way you can see this is by turning to celebrities for inspiration. Women, consider the case of Angelina Jolie. She is 42 years old, and yet she looks, well, hot. She has raised a lot of children, been through multiple careers, and recently fought off breast cancer. That is to say that her life hasn't necessarily been an easy ride. But what Angelina has going for her is money. Angelina is surrounded by a team of beauticians, nutritionists, personal trainers, and agents who were all dedicated to making sure she looks and feels amazing. After all, Angelina's face and body are her career. Jennifer Lopez is 47. Jennifer Aniston is 48. These people do not look their age. Especially J-Lo, whose youthful looks are almost certainly somewhat attributable to her career as a dancer. Exercise, as we will see, is absolutely key to staying youthful, vibrant, and healthy. Oh, and if you want more proof of the power of dancing, I recommend checking out 89-year-old Bruce Forsyth. Okay, so these men and women aren't all that old, except for Bruce. How about someone a little more advanced in years? How about Arnold Schwarzenegger, who has lived the most exotic life and led the most incredible career, and is now ticking at 69 years old? Not only does Arnie manage to stay relevant at his age, But having stepped down as governor, he has now managed to regain the physique that he had in his youth. The same goes for Stallone, who at 70 is launching new careers as a painter, starring in Hollywood blockbusters, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and maintaining his awesome ripped physique. These guys have little chemical assistance, but as we'll see, there are ways you can tap into the same reservoir of male fertility that they have without breaking the law. Clint Eastwood, at 87 years, is looking pretty healthy, too. Perhaps it's something to do with being an action hero. What about female inspiration? In this case, I would encourage you to turn your attention to Joanna Lumley, star of Absolutely Fabulous and the voice of many UK documentaries. Joanna is now 71, and she is genuinely still highly attractive, not to mention enjoying the same momentum in her career as ever. Joanna bucks the trend of women who struggle to maintain their careers in the public eye as they age, and shows the right makeup can really enhance a more mature look, turning it into an asset even. The 71-year-old Helen Mirren similarly manages to maintain her looks and her status and finds herself as the face of many an anti-aging advertisement. So, in case you thought that men were the only ones who could work their look at 70, you would be wrong. How to tap into the secrets of the celebrities for youthful looks and vigor. As you can see then, it is possible to look and feel great at pretty much any age. There is, of course, an element of luck involved. If you break your hip and need a replacement, then this is going to cause setbacks that can be hard to recover from. And if you are unfortunate enough to be genetically more likely to develop Alzheimer's or arthritis, then likewise, you'll have a more difficult road ahead. But whatever the case, there is a real difference that you can make by leading the right lifestyle and looking after yourself. Imagine yourself in 20 years. Now imagine the best you could be and the worst. Which are you going to choose? All the examples of people who look and feel fantastic in their older age that we've looked at here have been famous celebrities. As we've insinuated, they have had a bit of an unfair advantage, seeing as they have armies of beauticians and scientists and the money to spend on all of the most amazing anti-aging creams and anti-wrinkle supplements, you are likely not a celebrity, and that means you likely don't have the endless resources. But you can take the same approach. That approach is to invest in yourself, and to invest in your future. That's what these celebrities did. They recognized that their faces and their vitality were the main things they had to offer. They recognized that their careers would not be the same if they were to allow themselves to go gray, then bald, and then toothless. While you might not be a famous actor or musician, the same is actually true for you. You will earn less, do less, and be less happy if you don't invest in your future. And you don't need to spend as much as the celebrities. In this training, you're going to learn the secrets that the celebrities use to stay in shape and to stay looking young. But then you're going to learn how you can hack those methods and to achieve the same thing, or as near as, and spend half the amount. I recognize that you don't have unlimited resources or unlimited time, but I'm going to outline the strategies you can use quickly and affordably that will protect your looks and your mind for many decades to come. Why it's never too late to be what you always wanted to be. 
You might be expecting me to jump into some tips on protecting your skin now, but let me tell you this. That is entirely superficial. It's important, sure, and indicative of greater overall health. And you can rest assured that we're going to cover it later in this training. But more important is how you feel and what you accomplish. Because the way you feel about yourself and about life is going to have a huge impact on how you end up looking, how you come across, and what you can accomplish. If you feel younger, you will look younger. And if you're excited and enthusiastic for life, then that's going to make all the difference. Many of us will start to age physically the moment that we let go of our dreams and resolve to simply get by day to day. It's when you have a goal and a reason to live that the passion within shines through and you stay youthful and magnetic. So, you must never let go of your goals. And after all, there is no reason to. How our goals and expectations change as we age. Many of us wanted to be amazing things when we were younger. Some of us wanted to be astronauts. And some of us wanted to be rock stars. Maybe you dreamed of owning your own business. Then you reached your 20s and realized that achieving those dreams was harder than you thought. And that you needed money faster. So, you started working a regular job in the meantime. Then you reach 30 and have a spouse and kids. Then you reach 40 and realize you're old and tired. And in short, you realize that you're never going to be that thing you always wanted to be. Dreams are for younger people, right? The practical, tactical advantages of getting older. This is certainly the stance taken by many people. But in reality, the opposite should be true. As long as you hold on to those dreams, they actually often become more attainable the older you get. Why? For starters, being older gives you more experience and means you're going to have a better idea of how to go after what you want. Then there's the fact that you'll have had longer to accumulate useful assets. That includes money. You'll have more funds to put behind you. But also, other intangible and tangible assets such as property, contacts, a better CV, etc. And if you're retired, or if your children have moved away from home, then you'll have more time as well. And if you combine all that with a savvy knowledge of how to leverage your age, there's no reason that you can't get things done even when you're older. Examples of ways you can still achieve amazing things. Many people want to be actors, for example, but never get around to it when they're younger. When you're older, however, you have the option of applying to appear as an extra in films and to play small parts. You have the time now to audition, and the older you are, the more in demand you'll find you become for smaller roles. Build up a CV, and who knows? Or you can start a YouTube channel. Silver surfers make up a massive proportion of the web, and there isn't as much content there for them. For example, you can make a fitness YouTube channel for over 50s, and would likely be a huge hit. You'll likewise have more time to write books, and more time to pursue hobbies. And if you can't become an astronaut, admittedly unlikely, then how about signing up for a Virgin Galactic flight? If you can't be a football player, you could certainly maybe be a coach or join an older team. And this post isn't just for people in their 80s. It applies to those in their 40s, too. Did you know that the average age for successful startup founders is 40? Did you know that you're twice as likely to start a successful business at the age of 55 as you are at 20 to 34? Never give up. Now, of course, looking healthy, avoiding chronic pain, and keeping your brain youthful and quick will all further help you to make the most of your opportunities at any age. Your mindset and success will help you to look younger, and looking younger will help your mindset and success. So in the next video, we'll take a look at some of the ways you can stay looking younger. Top Tips for Looking Younger When You're Older When it comes to looking younger, the kinds of tips you will receive can broadly be split into two categories. On the one hand, you have tips that will focus on how you can prevent yourself from looking older. Prevention is better than cure, as they say. So if you focus on looking after your skin and avoiding aging habits, then you can keep yourself looking youthful for years to come. But this video is not about that. This video is about the other type of advice. The advice that will help you to look younger when it's already too late. This is a video that is all about getting away with your current look. And we're starting with this because it's the fastest and the easiest way to immediately make a difference to your lifestyle and the way you feel. We've discussed how your mindset, approach to life, and expectations can all help you to feel and therefore look younger. Making these immediate changes will alter the way that people act towards you and the way you feel about yourself. 
No one above the age of 20 wants to look their age. And as you start to approach middle age, you will find that each birthday seems like something of a kick in the teeth as you realize you are now less likely to ever become a rock star and less likely to go out with an 18-year-old again. And then there's the other little downside. The way you look as you get older and the way you lose your one-time youthful skin and body tone. It's like watching yourself slowly fall apart as everyone writes you off and it's understandably a little painful. However, the good news is is that there are ways we can slow down the hands of time and to protect our skin so we don't necessarily advertise our age to anyone who happens to look in our direction. Here are some of those strategies. Skin products for reversing aging. Skin products work in a variety of ways and are successful in what they set out to do to varying degrees. Be wary of things claiming to contain collagen as the collagen particles are often too large to get through the skin's pores. Likewise, though, things like moisturizers are very good at giving our skin back its buoyancy, while things like exfoliants can reduce the apparent depth of wrinkles by removing residual dead skin from the surface of our face. In fact, if you were to use only one skin product in an attempt to try and reverse some of the signs of aging, then an exfoliant should be it. Skin products with vitamins and minerals can also be very helpful. While some also contain topically applied antioxidants, make sure to read reviews and to learn the science before making your choice. Another great strategy is to get a tan. A tan will help you to hide lines and wrinkles by darkening your skin so that the dark shadows where your lines are strike less of a contrast against the rest of your skin. As we'll learn in an upcoming video, sun exposure though is one of the biggest culprits when it comes to making your skin age more quickly. So that's not the aim here. Rather, look for self-tanning moisturizers. These are an underutilized product that will naturally add pigment to your skin and give you a slightly darker tone. At the very least, this will make you look healthier and give you more of a glow. We'll discuss skin products in more detail in upcoming videos. Makeup. How women can use makeup to look younger and work their current age. For women, using makeup is always an option to cover up wrinkles and other blemishes. Sure, it's a temporary solution, but it's enough in many cases to make a big difference if you add some foundation to a lined area. You should also use this around age spots and other blemishes that might give away your age. Don't go overboard with foundation though, ladies. Less is more, and it's better to go for a sheer coverage. As you age, matte powdery foundations can end up building up and clumping in the cracks and crevices of your wrinkles, and this is not a good look. You should also aim to cover up bags and lines under the eyes, though this can also be done with more face creams designed to plump up specific areas. The main objective for women trying to look younger with makeup, though, will often be to add color to their face. As you age, you will lose some of this color, and as such, you might start to look washed out, pale, and potentially even unwell. Adding color really works then, but you also need to be careful not to create too stark a contrast. If you wear bright blue eyeshadow and bright red lipstick, you can end up looking like the Joker, or simply as though you never got the memo that you had gotten older. As with most things, using makeup to look younger is all about subtlety and making small differences. For example, using a little color to brighten up the corners of your eyes can make a big difference. Likewise, you might want to use a peach-colored blush and not a brighter red blusher in order to bring a little extra color to your cheeks. These changes should be unnoticeable, but they should also be enough to unconsciously make a difference. The same goes with giving your skin a little more of a highlight by using strobing. This basically involves adding a little fake luminosity, sadly lost to age, by dabbing creams, better than powders, to the tops of the cheekbones and down the bridge of the nose. For your lips and eyes, use colors that don't strike too strong a contrast against your skin. Go for a couple of shades darker than your natural skin color and you'll come up with something that looks more mature, sophisticated, and understated. Be aware that very dark matte colors can actually make your lips look thinner, which in turn makes you potentially look older. Berry shades and autumn colors can have the opposite effect, especially when combined with a subtle lip liner and a little well-placed gloss. This is where it can be a great idea to try attending a makeup class. Classes such as Color Me Beautiful can teach you to apply makeup like a pro, and to work with your own skin colors and strengths. How to work the cougar look. 
Hopefully, everything I suggested just then makes sense to you, and you can see how this might impact your ability to look and feel younger. But you might have also noticed that there are some examples of women straying from this advice and looking great. Joanna Lemley, for example, Terry Hatcher, and the whole cast of Desperate Housewives, Courtney Cox, Julie Bowen. These are women who look hot for their age and who do so using much darker and more contrasting makeup. These women all work a certain look. Age has actually slimmed their faces and given them more defined features. They are naturally thin as well or have intense training regimes and diets, and they have partly used makeup in order to enhance their now exaggerated cheekbones, deeper set eyes, and thinner lips. In these cases, you are looking to enhance the look of your sharper features, and you can do this with darker brows, whereas lighter, feathery brows are traditionally a more youthful look, and by highlighting either your eyes or your lips with a bolder but dark and mature color. Likewise, you can try using contouring in order to enhance your new features even further. Grooming. Okay, men, you can wake up again. This feature applies to men and women, and in fact, it should apply to men even more so. Because what is one of the things that we most associate with older men? Commonly, that would be nose hair, wild eyebrows, and ear hair. Likewise, older women will often start to show their age with small amounts of hair growing on their chin. Partly this is due to hormonal changes, unfortunately. But look, hormones don't prevent you from using a trimmer. Again, this comes down to attitude as much as anything. Once you stop caring about your looks, then this sends a signal that you're off the market and that you consider yourself to be old and washed up. Of course, it plain looks bad and draws attention to the fact that you are aging. But it's also the mental aspect that makes such a big difference. So just take the time to groom. It has a massive impact. Hair color. Our hair is an important part of our identity and of our look. We tend to associate luscious locks with youth and with vitality, and we tend to think of vibrant color the same way. Hair covers a large amount of our heads and is visible outside of our clothes. Thus, it is very visible and one of the biggest statements we can make with regards to personal style and looks. It stands to reason, then, that gray hair can transform our appearance almost instantly, and certainly for the worse, leaving us looking a lot older. As such, then, it is important that we find ways to achieve gray coverage and to hide our gray hairs in one way or another. There are several ways to do this, and this will ensure that we look a lot younger and don't suffer the effects of gray hair. Of course, the most obvious form of gray hair coverage is to use hair dyes, which should ideally be natural. There are ways of going about this, though, if you want optimum results. Avoid anything that is too far removed from your current coloring. It is better to use a lighter color, and this way lighten your current hair color while also darkening your grays, essentially allowing your hair to meet in the middle. There is nothing worse than someone in their 80s dyeing their hair jet black. It looks incredibly fake. Another option is to look for dyes that only dye gray hairs. These include the likes of Just For Men. And while they can contain some astringent chemicals and successful reports vary, they certainly represent a better approach than trying to nuke your grays with an overly vibrant color. This is about aging gracefully, drawing attention away from your grays, not trying to get your hair to look like the same as it did when you were in your teens. For men in particular, another interesting option is to embrace the grays by going for a mottled look. If you were starting to get a few gray hairs come through, this can actually be a worse look than purposely choosing to embrace the speckled appearance which many women actually find sexy. Good examples of this look are Matt LeBlanc, 49, and of course George Clooney, 56. The female equivalent involves dyeing hair silver, though this can risk making you look like an earth mother type unless you go for a shorter do. Hairstyle your hairstyle can also make a difference to your age. And again, this is about embracing and working with your age. Women, the younger you are, the longer your hair can be. As you get older, slightly shorter hair tends to be more flattering. And for women and men, shorter hair is a good way to cover up the hair that you might be losing or to hide gray hairs. Try shaving around the sides and having it longer on top. For men who are losing their hair, don't fight it. There are few things more upsetting than a weak comb-over, and you would almost always be better off embracing a shaven head. 
This is a look that works great for Bruce Willis and many other celebrities, and if anything, it will make you look tougher. Here's one of the things about working your looks as an older man. While traditional female beauty is all about being soft, supple, and youthful, men can get away with looking tough and haggard and still make it seem attractive. Shaven hair and some stubble below can help you to work this look well. And generally, growing stubble or a beard as you start to lose your hair is a great way to draw attention away from a bald head and to demonstrate that you still have enough youthful hormones to grow hair. For men who refuse to give in to the relentless march of the hairlines, though, there are a few more options. One is to choose the faux hawk. This is a haircut that was sported by Jude Law for a long time, and which involves having a small amount of hair in the front middle of the head combed forward. Some final tips for looking younger quickly. Finally, here are some more tips to help you look younger more quickly. Moisturize your hands. One of the things that will often give the game away when it comes to how old you are is the way your hands look. Wrinkled hands can make us look older than the rest of our appearance might suggest, and even make us look older than we really are. This often gets forgotten, though, so avoid this mistake by moisturizing your hands regularly. Dress your age. As with makeup and hair color, the aim is not to dress youthfully in order to look youthful. If you want to look younger, then you should actually dress for your age. Again, work the look you have. Don't fight it. Hydrate. One of the single most important ways to look instantly more youthful is to hydrate. When we are not dehydrated, this can cause our skin to look thinner due to the lack of water retention. And that in turn means that you can more easily see veins underneath, not to mention making wrinkles appear more noticeable. In fact, dehydration is a reason that many of us look so bad first thing in the morning. If you often wake up with bags under your eyes and with your skin looking kind of gray, the reason is, is that you're dehydrated. This is also why your breath might be a little on the mm, shocking side. And if you want a powerful exclusive tip that will help you to prevent wrinkles and lines, take a creatine supplement. Creatine is a supplement used by many people to increase their energy levels and to help them perform better in the gym and on the running track. But did you know that creatine can also increase water retention? This means that it will encourage your cells to store more water, which in turn will make your skin look fuller and reduce the appearance of wrinkles, lines, and veins. Teeth Looking after your teeth is one of the single most important ways to make yourself look younger. Have you ever heard the expression, long in the tooth? This demonstrates how deeply ingrained this association is, as does the fact that most dream interpretations suggest that dreams about teeth are actually dreams about getting older. If your teeth are looking stained or crooked, then visiting your dentist and having them seen too is a quick way to knock some ears off. That might mean going to the hygienist and having them cleaned, or asking to get them whitened. Note as well that if you are missing teeth, this can add wrinkles around your mouth. Thus, one of the best strategies for looking younger is simply to have missing teeth replaced by permanent dentures. Dental implants, painful though that may be. Surgery. Dental implants are an example of a type of surgery that can help you to look younger. Another is to get veneers. This is a very non-invasive procedure that can transform the way you look. This is one of the biggest secrets of the Hollywood celebrities that we talked about so much in the first videos. White, straight teeth will make you look like a million bucks. And of course, there are many other types of surgeries you can choose. These include facelifts to remove wrinkles, using Botox and more. While these can make you look younger, they can also cost a lot of money, risk going wrong, and potentially result in looks that appear fake and unusual. We've all seen celebrities that have taken their surgery too far, and this is a fate that you will certainly want to avoid. So think twice before going this road. If you do, approach this in the same way as a makeup and so much else. Less is more. Gaining weight. Yes, believe it or not, I'm about to recommend gaining weight. Now, this isn't a good strategy for everyone, but for those that are starting to look very wrinkled and lined, gaining a little weight can actually be a great move. Some women will find that they start to look slightly gaunt as they age, and you may have noticed that plumper women don't have this problem to the same degree. The same goes for men, who can look frail if they are too thin in their 80s and 90s. In these scenarios, gaining just a little weight can make a big difference. 
Of course, adding muscle as opposed to fat is a preference here. And we'll see how to do that in a moment. How to look younger, longer. Videos 4 and 5 were pretty much a comprehensive guide to ways you can look younger instantly. If you were following that advice as you went, then you might now have a more appropriate haircut, outfit, and personal style. You might have found ways to make your skin look younger, and you might have reduced the appearance of wrinkles and lines. But now it's time to go even further. It's time to prevent the relentless march of time from taking any more from your looks. As we suggested earlier, prevention is better than cure. So how do you prevent yourself from looking any older? The number one strategy for slowing aging. Antioxidants. Antioxidants are foods that work by destroying free radicals. Free radicals are molecules that attack our cells by bombarding the cell walls and which can damage them and make them look worn and wrinkled. If your skin cells take enough oxidative damage from these radicals, then this damage can eventually add up and become enough to be seen externally, which is one of the primary causes of wrinkles. Worse, if the damage goes through the cell walls and all the way into the center of the cell, the nucleus, it can damage the DNA and result in cancer-causing mutations. This is also what can cause blemishes and imperfections such as sunspots and other signs of aging. Antioxidants come in all shapes and sizes, but are generally found in our diet from such things as vitamin C and oranges and omega-6 fatty acid in oily fish. Perhaps the best sources of antioxidants are berries. And if you want a convenient way to get a huge number of antioxidants in your diet with minimal work, then the answer is to take a smoothie that is made primarily from berries. These are actually cost-effective too. Some smoothies can contain as many as 20 plus berries in a single bottle, which would cost a lot more to consume directly. Yes, smoothies contain a lot of sugar. For that reason, you shouldn't consume more than one a day. But the positives of smoothies far outweigh the negatives. Get some in your diet. Ionized water for profound anti-aging effects. There are a few other tricks you can use to get more antioxidant benefits though too. Now one tip is to consider ionizing your water. Ionized water is water that has a higher ORP or oxidation reduction potential. Here, water is ionized by gaining new electrons and this in turn can alter the pH level to reduce acidity. Drinking acidic tap water can cause a fair amount of oxidative damage over time. So if you want to prevent wrinkles and also increase your energy levels in a profound way, consider getting a water ionizer so that all your water will be less likely to cause oxidative damage. And many people find that they start to notice the benefits within 30 days. And studies show that this has the potential to extend your lifespan and reduce the visible signs of aging. The master antioxidant, glutathione. Want another pro anti-aging tip? Consider trying to seek out a little more glutathione in your diet. This is what is often referred to as the master antioxidant. It is a tripeptide made from three amino acids, cysteine, glutaminic acid, and glycine. This is more powerful than nearly any other kind of antioxidant and has a number of key roles in the body, including maintaining vitamins C and E, vitamin E being an important nutrient for skin health regulating the production of hydrogen peroxide, neutralizing lipid peroxide byproducts, and assisting the removal of toxins from the body. So how do you get more glutathione in your diet? Trick question. You can't. Glutathione is actually synthesized in the body, but the good news is that you can increase it by getting more of the precursors, or building blocks, of this important substance. You'll do that by consuming the three amino acids we mentioned. L-cysteine, L-glutaminic acid, and glycine. You can't get these in supplement form. Cysteine is toxic when consumed directly, but you can get it from your diet by eating more dairy, fish, meat, and cheese. For vegetarians, soybeans, spinach, pumpkin, and kale will work. Protection. Meanwhile, it helps to avoid creating more opportunities for your cells to become damaged. In particular, this means making sure that you hide from the sun whenever possible and don't try to tan too much. The sun not only dries out our skin, but also causes further damage to those cells which can age us as well as, once again, create a risk of cancer. Be sensible then, and if you must get bronzed, consider using self-tanning moisturizer as suggested earlier. 
And actually, this can have the added benefit of reflecting the sunlight back and helping you to absorb less of it. Another tip is to always cover up in other ways. Wearing shades is one of the most useful ways to keep your skin looking youthful because it will protect the delicate skin around your eyes from being damaged. This is one of the top tips from the aforementioned Aaron Marino. Stress. Finally, recognize the profoundly negative impact that stress has on your cells, your brain, and your aging. If you are in a state of chronic stress, then you invite deterioration, illness, and rapid aging. You invite inflammation and more. Stress increases your heart rate and suppresses your digestion and absorption of nutrients along with your immune system. It causes inflammation, and it increases oxidative damage. So if you can't avoid stress, learn to manage it. Meditation is one of the most powerful tools to help you slow your aging for all these reasons. Skin care and diet. Finally, make sure you are taking care of your skin as you age with products and with the right diet. That means having some kind of regime to protect your skin against damage and replenish lost collagen and elastin. Moisturizing is also an important way to protect the skin from damage over time. There are countless different products on the market, and more than we can possibly list here. However, one quick tip is to look for those that contain humectants, such as hyaluronic acid, as well as vitamin E, which can help to block free radicals. If you're looking for something you can add to your diet that will reduce the appearance of wrinkles, then a good recommendation is bone broth. This contains a whole range of important nutrients for skin elasticity, not to mention your bone health. Bone broth contains collagen, glycine, and minerals such as calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium. Bone broth is made simply by boiling bones in order to infuse the water with nutrients. Fish bone broth has the added benefit of being rich in iodine, which can protect against sluggish thyroids as you get older and help you stay thin with plenty of hair. Staying fit and healthy as you age. Stallone has been a personal hero of mine since he made the film Rocky. Not only did he write the script himself and play the lead character, despite no proven track record in Hollywood, but he also managed to get into incredible shape and to inspire boxers and bodybuilders around the world. Today, Sly continues to impress. At the ripe age of 70, he possibly looks to be in the best shape of his life and is showing no signs of slowing down. Despite being old enough to be a granddad, he nevertheless has almost the same physique he had in the 80s, which should be incredibly inspiring for anyone reaching their twilight years. I'm not saying you need to become the next Arnie or Stallone. In fact, I would not recommend that at all for most people. But I would say that you should definitely strongly consider increasing your training regime as you age. This is one of the most effective ways to improve your physical appearance, as it will make you more toned and less wrinkled. At the same time, it will fill you out and make you look stronger, which is particularly important for men. But exercise will also boost your brain function as you age. More on this shortly. Boost your health and help you to fend off a range of age-related conditions such as osteoporosis, arthritis, reduced mobility, and much more. But how does someone like Stallone do it? How does he manage to stay in such great shape despite all the aches and pains that come with age? and considerably depleted hormones. Let's take a look at how he probably manages to stay in such stellar shape and how you can do the same. Overcoming the challenges of staying fit as you age. Hormones. One of the ways that Stallone stays in shape, and many other celebrities do too, is through the use of growth hormones. This isn't a steroid technically, but it is a controversial and very expensive drug, so it's out of question for most of us. However, you can still improve your body's natural muscle-building, fat-burning hormones through a number of other methods, including supplementation. One such technique is to use a pro-hormone such as a testosterone booster. This will encourage your body to produce more testosterone, and in turn, that will make you more likely to build muscle and burn fat. These are cheap and safe to use, so it's a perfectly acceptable option for most people. For younger men, these supplements, which include the likes of Tribulus Terrestris and Tongkat Ali, have no proven benefit. But as you age and testosterone production goes into decline, you'll find that you can benefit greatly from a supplement. Of course, this is only for men. Likewise, you can also produce more growth hormone, which will have similar effects, and which many older men and women could benefit from. 
there's no easy way to supplement with growth hormone. You can nevertheless still encourage production by training your legs with squats and going for fast runs. Likewise, you can also trigger more production by sleeping longer hours and by taking hot baths. It's a tough pill to swallow, sure, but it's for your health. But you know what? Men who want to see themselves perform at their very best in older age may wish to consider getting hormone therapy in the form of testosterone injections. Testosterone levels on the whole are falling fast across the nation. The average man has 10% less testosterone than just 10 years ago. This results in lower muscle mass, weaker bones, lower sex drive, and increased likelihood of depression. This gets significantly worse as you age, and so getting testosterone injections can actually transform your health. Joints Another of the challenges of building muscle as you get older is the fact that your joints will likely ache a lot more and possibly even be compromised due to arthritis or old injuries. The solution is to make sure you aren't too hard on your joints. Avoid anything that causes an impact, such as running on solid concrete. Rowing or cycling is better. And try wearing a support that will help guide your joints through the movements. Warming up before exercise and making sure you practice the very best technique is now more important than ever. This is also an issue for cardiovascular exercise, which of course can result in your joints taking quite the beating. The obvious solution is to look for lower impact forms of activity, such as walking, swimming, or using a stationary bike. Energy. Even with your body working at 100%, training as you get older is difficult because you will likely feel so much more tired and drained of energy when you come to do it. If you find yourself feeling that way though, you can always increase your energy through better supplementation. Use energy drinks and creatine or simply by getting more sleep and resting longer. If your muscles still ache from your last workout, then go easy on your next one, and make sure you get lots of sleep and protein before you target that same area again. And let me reiterate that walking, swimming, or using a stationary bike are great ways to energize yourself as you get older, and to keep yourself active even as you start to lose the ability to train with more intensive methods. Mobility, energy, and health at any age. Better yet, Take up yoga or gymnastics. In a moment, you'll learn why movement is so important for your brain, but it is also crucial for your body. In fact, many of the joint issues you experience in old age are the result of sitting for long periods of time, a position the body is not designed for, and of not moving enough. As we do this, our joints become stiffer, tendons to shorter and elongate, and certain muscles atrophy. This can place unequal pressure on our joints, and ultimately lead to a lack of mobility that we associate with old age. It's as simple. If you keep moving, you'll keep being able to move. And if you've lost that mobility, then slowly start to reintroduce it again. Finally, you should also incorporate HIIT into your workout regime, if you're still young enough and healthy enough to do so. This involves alternating between bouts of intense exercise at full speed, and then gentle recovery. Not only will this strengthen your heart and VO2 max, reducing the likelihood of heart disease, which is the number one killer in the Western world, but it will also increase the number and performance of your mitochondria. Mitochondria are the energy factories that live in our cells and that are responsible for turning glucose into ATP. One of the key reasons that older people are tired all the time and children come around for days is that children have more mitochondria. You will create more by using HIIT, and you'll also make your energy process more efficient, reducing oxidation as you do so. Look up HIIT online. Combine this with stretching and mobility work, read Becoming a Supple Leopard, and add in long walks, fresh air, and weightlifting. You will not only look and feel more powerful and youthful, but also prevent a large range of different health problems. Your brain. Keeping your mind sharp as you age. There are many not-so-fun side effects of getting older, and many reasons not to look forward to the inevitable march of time. While many of the downsides we tend to focus on, though, are to do with our bodies failing us, perhaps even worse is when our minds start to give in, and we find ourselves becoming more forgetful and much slower in our thinking. Even if we don't necessarily suffer from any specific conditions such as dementia, we can still find ourselves getting slower in our thoughts, and struggling to keep up with everyone else, which can be immensely upsetting and isolating. It doesn't have to be that way, though. And if you are willing to put in the time and the effort, 
Your brain can be strengthened and kept young just like a muscle. Here, we will look at how you can keep your brain sharper and prevent some of that age-related cognitive decline. Exercise. Exercising is an important way to keep your body strong and healthy as you get older, as we've already seen, but it has other benefits besides the obvious. One of the most useful of these is the way it can help to strengthen your brain. And if you've ever struggled with short-term memory loss as you've gotten older, it may interest you to know that memory improvement is one of the main effects of starting a new exercise regime, and particularly one involving lots of cardio. We've already looked at the best ways to train as you get older, and so now you have even more reason to follow that regime. Use. The saying, use it or lose it, is definitely one that applies here. And using our brain regularly in creative ways is one of the very best ways you can avoid letting it start to deteriorate. The best uses are ones that involve forward planning and using numbers. So games like chess or even computer games are ideal. That said, though, anything will help, even just reading occasionally. When you use these kinds of activities, you are training what is known as working memory. This is the type of memory that is crucial for fluid intelligence, the type that is often lost as you age. Diet. The right diet can do wonders for looking after your brain and helping to prevent the onset of various neurological diseases or general deterioration. Particularly useful are fatty acids such as omega-3, which you can get from fish and supplements. Omega-3 fatty acid can not only increase cell membrane permeability to improve the communication between neurons, but it also combats inflammation, which can damage the brain. Vitamins such as B9, also known as folic acid, which can be found in fruits and vegetables and amino acids. Proteins, which you can get from meat or from supplementation. They are used to create important neurotransmitters, chemicals that aid our memory and more. But there are countless more nutrients and ingredients in our diet that can have a profound impact on our brain function. Magnesium aids relaxation and brain plasticity. Lutein appears to help support memory, as well as protecting the eyes as we age. Choline from eggs is used to create acetylcholine, a substance that regulates activity throughout the brain. The list goes on and on and on. The thing to understand here is that damage to the brain can be cumulative and that going without important minerals and vitamins won't just damage your brain function in the short term, but also in the long term. If you are constantly starving the brain of the things it needs, then you can cause depression, stunt learning, and ultimately cause the brain to start deteriorating rather than growing. The longer this goes on, the worse the damage will be. Other ingredients such as antioxidants can help to protect your brain against damage in the first place, by protecting the cells in this case. Caffeine is also being shown in studies to reduce the likelihood of developing Alzheimer's or dementia. So, seek out healthy, nutritious foods. Avoid empty calories. Recognize that your diet is not just about fueling your body, but also building your body and your brain. Lifestyle. Similarly, your lifestyle can also have an impact on your mental health. Things like your sleep regime and fresh air can affect your brain, while alcohol consumption can also have a big impact. Live in a manner that is conducive to good brain health, and you will get more benefit from the better diet and other changes. Again, this is cumulative, and it's key to note that small amounts of damage that you cause now can add up and ultimately cause severe problems. Alcohol and smoking are particularly bad for you. This will absolutely ruin the way you look and cause you to physically age very quickly, causing everything from stained teeth to premature wrinkles but they can also damage your brain by killing brain cells. Lack of sleep and stress likewise will cause a large amount of physical and mental damage and will actually speed up the death of cells while also weakening your immune system. Finally, consider something that is very often overlooked, physical damage to your brain. There is a strong correlation between traumatic head injury and the onset of things like Parkinson's and dementia. Boxers and other athletes often acquire brain damage that affects their health negatively in older age. Likewise, many of us will experience injuries from falls, from driving accidents, and more that will cause small changes to our brain that we might not notice. Many of us are living right now with a minor brain injury. So, wear helmets, avoid contact sports that jolt the brain, and basically just look after that gray matter of yours. It's incredibly important and incredibly soft.
The most important way to keep your brain young and healthy in older age. All of these changes can help you to keep your brain functioning well as you age. But none of these factors is the most important when it comes to your brain function. That honor, instead, goes to learning and exposing yourself to new things. And to understand this, you need to understand what your brain is actually for. You see, your brain is ultimately a learning machine. That's what the human brain evolved to do, to help us to adapt to our surroundings and to modify our behavior appropriately. The brain evolved to help us learn to navigate our surroundings, learn what signals danger, and learn what signals food and resources. This adaptability has always been key to our survival. And this is possible thanks to a phenomenon called brain plasticity. Brain plasticity describes the ability of the brain to respond to stimulus by growing new connections and even birthing new neurons. When we experience something exciting and new, or when we challenge our brain in a new way, this results in the production of neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine, which increase our focus and attention. At the same time, BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, and nerve growth factor also increase, two neurotransmitters that are keenly important for plasticity and the creation of new neural connections. But if you stop providing your brain with these new challenges and these new stimuli, then you also stop the brain from producing those hormones and neurotransmitters, and it gradually does this less and less. This is when the brain stops growing and starts deteriorating. So why can't you teach an old dog new tricks? Simple. Because as we age, we start to challenge ourselves with less and less that's new. A child's brain is incredibly plastic because it is learning to walk, to talk, to write, to play, and more. A teenager or someone in their 20s is still very plastic because they are learning to drive, to work, new jobs, etc. But when you've been doing the same job for decades, the brain has less new to learn, and it slows down. And this gets much worse if your joints become damaged, or if you get arthritis. Movement is one of the best stimuli for the brain. And if you remove that, as well as removing exploration and interaction with others, this is when depression sets in. Grumpiness, forgetfulness, and eventually dementia. So, keep learning new things. Keep challenging yourself to learn languages, skills, programming languages. Keep meeting new people. Keep going to new places. And keep working towards goals. Remember, it is never too late to be what you always wanted to be. The future. Has the first person to live forever already been born? Did you know that there is a species of jellyfish that is actually biologically immortal? That means that unless it is physically killed by a predator or disease, it will potentially live forever and never die. This is possible because the jellyfish known as a Turritopsis nutricula is able to revert back into its polyp form, much like Doctor Who, and rejuvenate all of its cells as it does. Personally, I believe that this is the most likely way humans will be able to achieve immortality. But that's besides the point. The point is that however we might eventually crack biological immortality in humans, many scientists agree that the first child to live forever has probably already been born. How is this possible? And how likely is it? Why it might be possible. People are getting older and older all the time, as we generally learn more about how to live healthy lives, fight illness, and improve our diets and lifestyles. We smoke less. We eat better diets. We drink cleaner water, and we take better medication. Already, people are living longer than they did a 100 years ago, with the oldest person so far has lived to an impressive 122 years and 164 days. There are claims of older, but this is the oldest verified claim. If you make the assumption that this record will be beaten, then it's safe to say that some people born today might live to 130 or even 140. That means that they'll die in the year 2153, by which time technology is likely to be unrecognizable. It has changed drastically in the last hundred years, but according to Moore's Law, which states that technological improvement occurs exponentially rather than linearly, the jump should be far greater over the hundred that are to follow. Popular Life Extension Techniques During this time, it's highly likely that we will see medicines and technologies introduced that can extend our lifestyles. 
Already there are many signs that this may be the case, and many candidates for the technologies that might do this. For instance, a recent study by the Institute of Regenerative Medicine in Pittsburgh demonstrated that the lifespans of mice could be increased by 200% using injections of stem cells taken from younger mice. This has already been shown to work effectively on mice, so it's probably only a matter of time until we start seeing something similar being tested on humans, less than 140 years away. Other methods have also been proposed for extending the human lifespan. Gene doping techniques, for instance, have been used to increase the resilience and function of mitochondria, the energy-generating batteries that surround our cells, and also protect them from oxidative damage. Predictions suggest that such treatments could increase our lifespans by up to 30%, while also providing us with added protection against cancer and even burns. Telomeres might also play a role. These are the bookends that sit on either end of our DNA strands and provide a buffer to protect our genes from damage during mitosis. Essentially, each time our cells split in order to reproduce, some of our DNA gets lost at either end. This doesn't matter too much during our early years, because all we're losing are bits of our unimportant telomeres. Once those telomeres are gone, though, the damage starts to affect the more important parts of our DNA, and we start to age. Methods that could rejuvenate those telomeres, then, might well stand a chance of also extending our lifespans. Imagine this scenario. So let's imagine that all these techniques are introduced in the next 140 years and are proven to be successful. It's theoretically possible, then, that your children might have the option to extend their already longer lifespans by up to 300%, meaning that they could live to be 420 they'll also be less likely to suffer from various illnesses. And if they do get ill, they'll be able to address those illnesses using far more impressive medical technologies. This now takes them to the year 2432, at which point there are bound to be countless new technologies that could enhance their lifespan even further, or perhaps even indefinitely. Of course, it might not go that way. It could be that we destroy ourselves in a nuclear war long before their 30th birthday, or that their lifespans decline through inactivity and an over-reliance on computers and gadgets. But still, it's rather amazing to think that theoretically at least, the first immortal may well be among us. And even though it's rather unlikely, that could even be you. Of course, in the meantime, you need to do everything you can to keep yourself healthy and youthful for as long as possible. Follow the advice in this training. Live by it. Swear by it. It might just help you to live forever.